feel like buying a Chinese Mickey guitar is super controversial for whatever reason, and feelings are mixed on whether people should buy Chinese Mickey guitars. Um, I think a lot of the bad reputation Chinese guitars, Chinese made guitars get comes from the fact that they might lack good quality control. They might not have the best parts. They might have cheap parts. Sometimes they're straight up copies of other guitars, like all the Gibson clones there are, which I would never get. Where was I going with this? Oh, are there a lot of people exaggerating how bad Chinese made guitars really are? I don't know. But I do have this Suwei ST electric guitar. So I figure I'd review all Chinese made guitars by reviewing just this one right here since it's all I have. I'm joking, of course, but I might do a whole separate video on Chinese made guitars as a whole. Who knows? Um, but this guitar here is definitely a beautiful looking guitar. It comes in a few different colors like orange and green, but I got it in pink because I wanted to get those Instagram likes. Everybody needs a pink guitar, right? The obvious part is that this is a copy, or I guess a similar version to the Charvel Pro Mod DK24, whatever the numbers are. I think it's slightly different than the Charvel though, but that's nothing a bit of color correction wouldn't fix. And other than that though, the guitar is almost identical to the guitar, but not with the thousand plus dollar price tag. I actually just looked at the price of the Charvel Pro Mod, and it's going for $1,200 retail, and correct me if I'm wrong, but for whatever reason, I thought that the guitar was like $800 at least when it came out. Was it always $1,200? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, on the other hand, this Zuway guitar at the time that I bought it was $225 with free shipping. So the guitar itself was less than $200 if you consider $50 shipping probably. Boy math, I don't know. I see now that on eBay where I got it, it's $250 plus another $50 for shipping, so around $300, which makes everything that I'm going to say in this video a bit challenging because $300 really isn't that cheap in today's standards, where you can find really great guitars for cheaper, but it's still like a quarter of what the Charvel costs. Some of the other colors of this guitar I've seen for as low as $175 recently, so it really is about searching around. I don't know, but I feel like it is a lot easier to justify 225 or 200 even less 200 after shipping than $300, you feel me? But in general, if you're looking into this guitar, look around for the best price, which is hopefully $200 or less if possible. Now, this part of the video really isn't a review of the guitar itself, but I do want to bring up some of the modifications that I did to the guitar. Um, I bought this guitar intending for it to be a project-ish guitar, nothing really crazy, but changing something. I bought the guitar with certain changes already in mind, so I don't have the stock bridge, for example, or and the tuners on the guitar either, but I do have the parts if I ever want to put them back on. For the bridge, I put in this Wilkinson Gold Tremolo Bridge, which I got for around $35 at the time, and the tuners, I put Wilkinson Easy Lock tuners, Got an Amazon for also around 35 bucks, so about $70 in extra parts, which is still under $300 that the guitar costs today, but more or less the same. I do want to say that if you want to change one thing on this guitar, change the tuners because they low-key did not feel good, but um, the bridge was okay. Um, I just wanted to change the color of it, and I have seen people that say that their bridge was horrible, but mine wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. It was just a cheap bridge, I don't know. And I think that a common factor with cheap guitars like this, and I said this in one of my other videos, is that it's just inconsistent. Something may be amazing for you, which might be horrible for someone else, and ultimately it comes down to little to no QC for guitars at this price, so they just vary so much. I also do want to mention that um, if you want to switch out the bridge, the tremolo bridge, it <laughs> I've, maybe it's just me, but it was such a huge hassle trying to find one that even fits. I don't know what it is, but it looks like they didn't cut the cavity in the back properly for it. So a lot of the, or maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. A lot of the bridges that I was finding just wouldn't fit. I don't know. And this one that I did fit still like doesn't fit perfectly. And I'll try to put a video of it on top of what me telling it right now, but it is kind of impossible to use even though it fits it just gets stuck and i don't know maybe there's a way to fix it 
I would assume maybe cutting the cavity so that it properly fits in there, but that is just seems like too much of an effort to do, so. And as for the specs, I won't dwell too much on them because it is a cheap guitar, so don't expect crazy specs. And I want to stress that a lot because I feel like a lot of people that check these guitars out expect them to play like $1,000 guitars that they're copying, and I honestly think that's kind of a dumb. Um, the guitar comes with a roasted maple neck, which looks and feels really nice. Um, mine didn't really come with any sharp fret edges. The pickups don't have a name on them and they're just basic pickups to be honest. I've seen I think uh, HSH configuration of the pickups on these guitars as well but I got the HSS model and they sound pretty decent to me and don't really sound cheap. Um, I know that some people that have received these guitars said that the pickups look and sound cheap but I didn't have this issue luckily. Honestly I feel like I got really lucky with I get really lucky with a lot of the cheap guitars that I've purchased since I don't have a lot of QC issues that others have, at least from videos that I've seen, and some people return cheap guitars until they get a good one, but I never had to do that, and with this guitar, for example, with the bridge issue that I had, I just, I just live with it because I can't be bothered. <laughs> with all that, though, let's hear some of the sounds you can get from this guitar, which I know is probably one of the most important things. I do have a few videos up on this channel, I think, using this guitar, so for some more examples if you want. Take a look at some of my other videos, including my most recent, which will show up in the guard above. You know where it is. I've seen a lot of videos talking about how this is the worst guitar they've ever used. Do I agree with those comments? Absolutely not. I think it's one of those things where like people don't want to admit that a cheap Chinese guitar can be good and they kind of ignore the price and compare it to more expensive guitars. Now do I think this guitar is great? Absolutely not. <laughs> I think the guitar is an okay guitar and it's really nothing special. Um, if you're thinking about getting this guitar and you see any listing for like $300 including shipping i do not recommend this guitar at all at that price i feel like you know, epiphone or squire just make guitars that are way better than this at that price point for 300 dollars, do not get this guitar 
Now, if you find it for 175, maybe my answer will change. I really don't know. It's it's just such a it's such a what's the word I'm looking for? It's such a risk getting a guitar like this, and it, it might be horrible. You know, your bridge might not fit, but also if you just like the look of the Charvel that everyone has, but don't want to spend a thousand plus dollars on it, and you see this guitar for less than two hundred, sure, just buy it, modify it, do whatever you want with it. But at three hundred dollars, I really can't recommend this guitar, unfortunately.